man. <laughs> I am very, very tired for this one. It wasn't gonna be a Dr. Bob uh video reaction video, somewhat like that, where we I say or you say it. It was gonna be a um the rubber video that he dropped one that I wanna see and the SAP explain video, which was the one that I wanna see for the Scarlet King. But <laughs> when I was about to click the channel, I see on the video on the side before I click in, you know, SAP explain channel. I see Dr. Bob and SCP-4666, the human. I actually like this SCP. The, the creeping factor, the, the scariness of it. Like, what makes this SCP is scary? <laughs> I like it. I don't know. I like it. It's one of my favorite scary SCPs, the human. The one that comes, you know, almost like in Christmas time. Was like cold and everything. I'm telling you. He kidnaps children. He kills the family of the children. The youngest, or say the, um, yeah, the youngest. The youngest children, like the kid, the, he, he takes them and make them work for him. And whenever they cannot work no more, he uses them as a toy. But hey, <laughs> enough of that. Let's just get started. I'm going to say by Dr. Bob, uh, we had to ask him before said six of you, man. SP animation, you already know, fire. I like this YouTube channel. I like every SP channel. I tell you guys. Uh, which will be in the description. I'll be happy to give it one more subscriber. Oh yeah, I want to talk about this topic and everything and all that. Yesterday I put out a SCP reaction, which the SCP was for, you know, uh, Russia. Uh, topic I don't like topic topic like this, you know, war stuff like that and everything. Uh, you guys remember I'm watching or say reacting to like the channel, not the person who made made the SCP, the one I'm supporting, the one who you know showcasing and everything. So I want to get this through. Uh, if I offended anyone, I'm sorry. I realized, like, from the beginning of the video, why I was recording and everything. But hey, let's keep it going. All right. A child Already! Already! The ball was like two minutes long for the intro? Morning. What they don't hear Hell they nah. is the sound of SCP-4666 yep. slipping into their room. SCP-4666 this, this watches one. the child for just a moment before reaching into a giant bag. Hi, I'm Dr. Bob. I like that transition. I and this is SCP-4666. And this is one of this is one of his older videos, so I don't think there's gonna be too much storytelling or anything in the end. But we're gonna also see. Also known as the Yule the Man. Yule like, Man. Look, oh, I'm like oh, look at this. SCP-4666 is thought to be a single humanoid entity, but one that has been alive for an incredibly yeah. long time. Those who have come into contact with SCP-4666 and live to tell the tale describe him as being very tall, between 2 and 2.3 oh, meters. Nah. He also appears to Yo. be very old and very thin. He always appears without clothing, even when the weather is below freezing and would be much too cold for any normal human to survive. I'm telling you, this, I like this, it's so creepy. Though the true extent of his it's anomalous so properties are still unknown, SCP-4666 seems to be able to travel instantaneously to any location on Earth above the 40th line of That's what made it hard to capture! They cannot capture this man! <laughs> they cannot! And I'm pretty sure that happened last Keter. And may actually be able to travel anywhere on yep. the planet. Just instant. Encounters with SCP-4666 have only been reported during a very specific time of year. Christmas. A period of 12 nights, running yep. from the night of December 21st, to the early morning hours Ooh. of January 2nd. This period is known as SCP-4666's active phase, and the encounters with the anomalous humanoid creature have been termed Weissnacht events. They can't even do nothing about it. During too. these events, SCP-4666 appears at family dwellings, all of which so far have a few things in common. One, they are all isolated in rural areas, Two, I... they are in locations with snow that covers the area for the duration of the event. And three, they are all home to a family with at least one child under the age of eight. In places that match- See, I'm good here. <laughs> I'm good. The youngest, she, yeah, the youngest person I live with, she is 14, I'll say 13. <laughs> it's all good. So that's not common for me too. Plus, I'm in New York, baby. I'm in New York in the Bronx. You know I mean, people is over here. This is not catching no one slacking. I'm telling you, it's not gonna catch no one slacking, especially me. Ooh, I'm telling you, I, I, 
I would have, yo, I oh, oh, if it came to Naomi, I'm telling you, I'm going to hit one of these. I'm telling you, it's not escaping, but I'm probably going to be the first one to die. Catch all of those uh, characteristics. Weissnacht events sometimes occur and always follow the same basic progression. During the first seven nights, the children will yeah. report seeing a strange figure within the vicinity. And no one's going to believe them. The entity will seem Ooh, to be look watching at it. Yo, the I can't. from a distance. This Such is so creepy. I like it. I love it. From the edge of a nearby forest. Oh, we got an ad. I was not paying attention to it. You know, it's muted. You guys already know. If it's not my ad, I'm not gonna pay at least a single penny on these ads. I'm gonna show the ad with volume. You're gonna skip it. But remember, guys, if you ever get one my ad, watch the whole thing. Thank you for support. But right now, there should be no ad yet. Some children have even reported waking up at night. Oh, hell to find nah. SCP 4666 watching them sleep through a window. On nights 8 through 11. Oh, it's getting the music. The music is getting like that crazy, uh, um, the crazy factor on all these other. Uh, wait, stop, story. On all these SP animations that Dr. Dr. Bob does, when someone's gonna die or there's killing and everything, he puts this music on. Other family members will report hearing the entity, such as footsteps yeah. on the roof or in the attic. A bad smelling odor will also start to be noticed in the house, but Hell no source no. of the smell is ever found. Yo, that, I'm telling you, that Febreze, man, I'm telling you. It may actually make him go away. None of the smells won't get to you. I'm telling you, Febreze be hitting. <laughs> oh, These no. strange occurrences will often lead the family to think their house may be haunted or that they're being terrorized by a madman. Can I just, just leave? On the 12th night, uh, one of two scenarios can occur. In the first, which happens roughly 15% of the time, is where families will often report yeah. that they heard footsteps during the night inside of their house. And they're going to get presents. There is never any sign of yeah. forced entry like broken windows or doors in the morning the children will find crudely made toys at the foot of their beds Oy. for the lucky ones this is the end of the vice knocked event for them the roughly 85 yeah. percent who experience the other scenario are considerably less <laughs> lucky it's so in the vast majority of cases Yo, the 12th night this is, dark. is a horrible What's experience happen? yep scp 4666 still enters the home on the final night but rather than leave presents for the yeah, children, it incapacitates the family and moves them all into a single room where it proceeds to kill them one by one in view of the rest of the family. The exact method of killing varies from it's event so to event, but there's almost always an element of torture that occurs before they are finally Elise, killed. At so least, that's YouTube again, this is catch up. At least you don't talk about us to show you know, anything too crazy. And this torture may serve a ritualistic purpose. The entire family is killed except for one of the children the youngest. who is under the age of eight. Yeah. This child is instead abducted and placed into a giant bag SCP-4666 carries with it. SCP-4666's existence was first noted in 1974 1974. Damn. by the Foundation's I... then-new Anomalous Signature Recognition Program, which alerted the Foundation to several suspiciously similar home invasions and murders that occurred throughout the Northern Hemisphere on the night of January 1st. Further research uncovered evidence for what was most likely other vice knocked events yeah. every single year, dating back all the way to the late 18th Ooh. century. With there being he's old, yo, he, I'm telling you, this is an old SCP. But God, the hell, I'm telling you, so the things that count to this, just don't live anywhere that's like almost has no population. Remember, there's a, let's say I love going or let's say going to places where. There's no one around almost, and it's a family around in one specific house. Just, I don't know, man. If, if this is real, this will be one of the scariest SCP that will get me a little bit. On average. But I love it. I love it. Per year. And there's even been evidence of references to what may be yeah. SCP-4666, dating all the way back to the 1st and 2nd century oh. AD. Identical fingerprints have been found at all of the houses which match the conditions for vice knocked events. And have been matched to a recovered partial print from all the Damn. way back to 1873. Okay. These fingerprints have characteristics that don't match any known human fingerprints. What is it? And the human-like white hairs that have also been recovered do not appear to contain human DNA. We know it. Or any DNA at all, for that matter. I. In the rare vice knocked events where SCP-4666 <laughs> does not murder the family and gifts are left behind, the gifts are anything yeah. but normal. It's it's so dark. The gift is so dark. The gifts, known as SCP-4666-As, appear to be made from the bodies of children yep. SCP-4666 abducted from other homes. 
in one case from 2018. The whole girl. It's a whole girl. A family in She's still alive. A life size yep. doll made from the body of a It's so dark. A female I love it though. Left behind. And no, I'm not crazy. I just love it. <laughs> the doll was All right, yo, it just it's, 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 it's good. I like it. That was in some but this is dark. directly to the skin. Her mouth had been sewn shut and painted red with this, human this blood. Dark. Another child's still alive, right? had been glued over her own, and three oh, fingers nah. were missing completely. The scalp had also been replaced with another child's scalp and hair like a crude wig. Oh, babe, this Worst of all, boy, she's still alive. both eyes had been removed and replaced with two stones which were painted to look like eyes. Damn! But most frightening of all was that the child who had been turned into a dog yeah. was somehow still alive. Authorities took the girl to a hospital where this she was is, able to give dark. a brief interview. She explained that the man who abducted her had I killed remember, her parents I think she still dies. her into a giant bag where there were other children too. SCP-4666 took the children somewhere deep below the earth in a cave system okay. full of ice. Okay, so I did not knew this. Okay, so we know a little bit. So I'm guessing he doesn't live here. He just goes to different caves. Bones. There. They were forced to make crude toys until they couldn't go on any longer. And that's when, at which point, yeah, they became. I said in the beginning, the girl, where you become now useless. Known to be Ekaterina Morozova, had been abducted two years previously in a known vice knocked event. She survived for only 18 hours after being discovered. That, that, that's what I said. An autopsy yeah. revealed many terrible injuries, and the cause of death was found to be from severe sustained malnourishment. SCP-4666 has been classified as Keter. That's what I said. Is currently not contained. And he, and he earns that. He earns his rank as Keter. Even though Keter is like dangerous and all that, he earns it. He's dangerous. Like this, <laughs> we can't do nothing about it. You see the foundation? Can't even stop him. So like, if this happened real life, <laughs> why any chance we have to stop it too? The foundation monitors web traffic and law Scary enforcement one. channels for any evidence of SCP-4666 activity and especially any potential vice knocked events such as cases of stalking yeah. reported during the 12 night active phase or other strange phenomena at houses with young children should a vice knocked event be suspected to be in progress the nearest containment task force is dispatched to attempt to contain scp-4666 using the standard pdp-8 humanoid first contact protocols what is it so far no such containment attempt has been successful now go and watch another that was entry good. from the files I of like Dr. It. Bob, and be sure to subscribe as we delve further and further into the SCP Foundation's classified archives. There you go. That was good. I like that one. I like that one. Hell, now you like going hit me with that? Come on, son. All right, I like that one. That was good. I like it. All right, you guys already know. Uh, let me end it right here. I want this to be you know a very long video, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Go to 5,000 subscribers. I ain't gonna make it. We almost halfway there. Thanks to you guys. Uh, you go to hit the like button too. Supposed to me even more. Turn the notification. We go on the early game, which means be in the comment section first. What brings me to the comment section? You can tell me game to play. It does not have to be a Roblox game. You can tell me a video to react to, but please link the video in the comment section. It'll be easy for me to find. Or you can be like, hi, or how you doing? I will always, always try to back to you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's your boyfriend. Out. <laughs>